has been a long and bloody year since the end of the Great War. While the Emperor has claimed victory, the peace that so many heroes gave their lives for has not settled on the lands. The hordes of chaos, though leaderless, continue to taint the north lands of the Empire. Vicious warriors attack merchant caravans and raid isolated farms and villages. The Emperor's battle-weary soldiers patrol the forests and hills, ever vigilant against bloodthirsty warbands intent on looting and slaughter. Okay, how badass was that intro? Pretty fucking badass. So, hello and welcome to this Let's Play of Warhammer Mark of Chaos with me, Grey Hunter. And just as a forewarning to all of you who are watching, I'm a massive Warhammer nerd. I actually do collect the tabletop uh, game, so forewarned, you will probably get a bit of exposition from me about the the state of the Warhammer universe as we play through, such as uh, comments on items we find and that sort of thing. <clears throat> so, you have been forewarned. I'm actually an Empire and Vampire Counts player, and my Empire army is Sterland, which is kind of saddening for me because we have to play Ostermark in this one. I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So a bit of background for the game. The intro movie we just saw mentioned the end of the Great War. Now what it's referring to is the Great War Against Chaos, which in the game happens in 2301, I think. Now, for those of you who 
haven't played the tabletop game, the year in the tabletop game is 2522. So this takes place 300 years before the actual game, Games Workshop Cells happens. Which is a little confusing. But it won't come up too often, it'll just occasionally be, um, if you notice that a few of the names are a little off. Such as the Emperor being Magnus, not Karl Franz, although you might not notice, because you don't play the game. Anyway. That's not the point. So, this game, you can play uh, the campaign, obviously, and you can play as the bad guys, which is the Horde of Chaos, or you can play as the Empire. I've got a massive, massive, massive soft spot for the Empire, because it's the Holy Roman Empire, essentially, in a fantasy setting, and that's pretty goddamn cool. So, we will be playing it on hard, because normal's are just too easy. I said hard, damn you. Normal's just too easy. So, we'll begin Chapter 1, The Call of War. Oh, okay. Here we go. It does a bit of exposition. In the months following Emperor Magnus's great victory over the Chaos Hordes at the gates of Kislev, sporadic fighting plagued the lands of the Indeed Northern so. Empire. Though scattered and leaderless, Chaos warbands still ravaged south, pillaging and destroying. Hard-pressed, the armies of the Elector Counts grew weary from constant war. Even as the first chill of autumn touched the air, Count Otto von Gruber of Ostermark gathered his forces east of the Middle Mountains to battle yet one more incursion. Amongst his captains was young Stefan von Kessel, a man with a reputation tainted by the execution of his grandfather for chaos worship, and whose brand-scarred face bore the mark of chaos. So Stefan von Kessel is the main character, as you might have noticed. But he's got a little bit of a, a stigma attached to him. Now I am playing this in widescreen because the game supports it. If the stretching's too much, tell me, I'll dial it back, and I'll play it with uh, the black bars on either side. It looks okay to me, and the cinematics aren't really the big bit of the game anyway, so you guys let me know what the go is with that. It is imperative that we hold the higher ground from which we can bombard the enemy uh -huh. with our cannons. Captain Steimer will hold the line of this side that's a little of the weird. river. Oscar, okay, so that's the elect account. By Captain Feldsturm's artillery. What is that's my Stefan. role count? You will take a contingent to cross the river and attack the watchtower the chaos forces Suicide are holding mission on the much. hill. Drive them back and secure that hill so Feldsturm can set up his battery on the higher ground. So this is essentially the tutorial mission. Not very difficult. So hopefully it'll uh enable me to do a little bit of exposition about the background to the game. Now loading times in this, they can be a little clunky because the game does not play well with Windows 7. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it's not really great. It's doing okay at the moment, so hopefully it'll keep at about this pace. So press any key, done. Alright, so this is the deployment screen. This is essentially what you would do if you were playing the tabletop game. You uh, select your units and your heroes and all that sort of stuff, and you attach your heroes to regiments, and you command your regiments and place them where you want. So, we've got two regiments of hand gunners. They're pretty cool. They're um, armed with flintlocks, essentially, and they have the special ability to volley fire. So, they get, um, essentially, they fire a huge volley. We probably won't use that very much for the first couple of encounters because we won't encounter anything that requires it, but it's a useful ability to have. Handgunners are very cool. And swordsmen are essentially the uh, bread and butter of Empire armies. They're state troops raised by the Elector Counts. Now the Elector Counts are the electors of the Empire, and their role is essentially they each rule a province. So there's ten of them now. There were twelve originally, but a couple of the provinces got written out and retconned, etc. So there's ten elector counts, and each of them has a vote in electing the next emperor. So it's very Holy Roman Empire. And the current emperor at this point is 
Magnus. Now, Magnus is not an elect account. The Emperor does not have to be one of the electors. So that's a little bit interesting. Although Magnus is a bit of a special case. He started, uh, he led the Empire to victory in a war, so they didn't really have much choice. The people would have said, damn it, we want him. But anyway, we'll end the deployment for phase. Man of the Empire, your time has come. From the and we'll start advancing. We can strike forth at the hated slaves of darkness. The gods have offered up this hour for our vengeance. So grasp it with fervor and salve your anguish with the blood of the Northmen. Drive them back to their caves and take Damn that straight. tower. What are your orders, the southern Lord? cowards have found us. Hello, marauders. Okay, so chaos is um a pantheon of dark gods. They're the evil guys. Thank you, Count. Yes, my Lord. There we go, handgunners doing their thing. And we'll get Stefan to run in on their flank. There we go, come on, flank them. There we go. Nice. And they're broken. And we got some gold for it. And we will try and kill them all. The enemy will pay with with nice. And we'll put Stefan on the flank. So this game... Uh, it's a little clunky in the interface. It's not too bad, but it tries to be a bit of Total War and Company of Heroes-esque. It doesn't really do that job very well. It doesn't do it terribly, but it does it. Not fantastically either. No quarter, and we'll so we'll send Stefan in and we'll activate his ability. I feel the spirit of Sigma within. Ready and willing. Okay. And volley fire. No what are your orders, my lord? These creatures. The enemy will pay with that. We are yours to Okay. Command. So these are marauder axe the throwers. They're uh, sort of like handgunners are uh, for us. They're the Chaos Normal Unit. Now we have to capture that tower, so we'll send one unit there. And we'll put the other one over here. Good job, Steph. The tower is ours again. Captain Feldsturm can set up his battery from here. Solid effort. Captain, look! It seems we're not fighting on. alone. All oh, right, wizard. We'll send Stefan down to help him. <laughs> Wizards are very, very uh, temperamental in this game. They're a bit wonky, but this one. I bring destruction to the emperor's foes. This one needs a little bit of help. So Stefan, come on. Help him out. Kill him. Kill him all. And you can fire a fireball that way. Actually, no. Just, just run away. Nice. Okay, so Stefan managed to break the marauders. He took some casualties though. That's all right. We just need to advance quickly. And we'll bring up a unit of handgunners to assist him. Which is helpful. Come on, Stefan. Okay, now we're fighting against the Marauder Axe Throwers. Stefan should be able to cut his way through them fairly easily, but we can give him some abilities to help him out. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him something from the command tree. You get ability points for each level and you level up uh, following this little blue bar here. So we'll give him one rank in tenacity which improves the armor rating of his regiment and himself which is handy. And we'll give him... Hmm, what's he got? No, he doesn't have any ranged weapons. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give him one storm of steel as well. So that'll just help him with this. His swordsman can cut through these guys fairly quickly, though. They don't need a whole lot of help. 
Advance to my command! No man can fight these creatures! This shall not defeat us! We got a potion for that. And there we go. Okay, now we do have to destroy that. But it's fairly easy. It's the opening mission. So we'll move our guys back up here. And we just have to wait for Feldstrom and his artillery to rock up here. So this is Feldstrom and his artillery. He's on the way, and he's going to set up a counter-battery fire on those hell cannons. So as I was saying before we actually got into the thick of it, uh, the Empire has many gods, but one of them is this guy called Sigmar. Now Sigmar was the first Emperor. And we have new objective, but we completed it, didn't we? Yes, we did. Sigmar was the first Emperor. So, in essence, the first Emperor became a god. But what's really telling about the Empire is they have a lot of religious tolerance. Ooh, cutscene. I'll shut up. <laughs> Alrighty. Those abominations will kill no more men of the Empire. Sing we don't actually advance. do anything. Gruber's over there. And he's just going to attack. Press so, Sigma. we're victorious. Now, we didn't do too badly. We lost 11 guys, but we killed 106. And we found some gold and some items, which is quite good. The Hordes of Chaos lost 112 guys in total. So that's not too bad at all. More exposition, obviously. A finally won victory, wouldn't you say, Count Gruber? I would have said hard fought, Captain Steimer. The priests of Moor will be busy for days burying the dead, don't you think? Moor is another of the gods. Victory, yes, Captain von Kessel. But one that we had to achieve. Count Feuerbach's army has suffered many casualties these past months, and last week he took my advice to pull back his forces to Talabayam. If we had failed today, the Northmen would have killed everyone between here and Wolfenburg Read that within that is a bad days. thing. Our army stands alone. We cannot rest until the Chaos Filth are driven from Sigmar's realm. Fine words, Von Kessel. Though it is the traitors in our midst that concern me more than the we Northmen like you. hordes. If you have an accusation to make... Enough! Word from the generals of Kislev is that another horde is gathering in the north. War bands still roam freely. The safety of the Empire is far from assured at the moment. We must strike hard against this invasion and choke it in its infancy. We must attack where they are gathering. I would be honored, my lord. No, I need you with my army. Von Kessel will head north and seek out their camp. Convenient As you command, my lord. Where would you have me march? Travel east and north. Via Estedorf if you need to resupply, and press on further northwards. There are regiments from my army and others on patrol in the region. Gather up any of them if you can. We will need as many men as possible for the battles ahead. I hope you can be trusted. Oh, stick it up your ass. Is in the blood. My loyalty is to the Empire alone. So there. Yes. He is not a character that we like, that captain. He's a bit of a bitch. <laughs> so there we go, it's our first victory. Didn't do too bad, I didn't think.